Hey guys, it's Paul. Um, a bit of a strange video I'm going to try and film today. It's going to be a bit awkward. But I just realised I've had this stream deck for a while. I was going to do some live gaming streaming. And I've kind of worked out. I was like, why don't I use this to help with my productivity of my office and, and things I do? So if you can see, there's 32 buttons on it. And they're all programmed to do certain things, to do different things within my system. And I'm going to show you... Um, I'll show you on the um, back end an easier way of doing it. But effectively, if you can see, I've got some quick links that will open up on my computer. Zoho One. Uh, you probably can't see unless I zoom in. Google Chrome. Come on. Contacts. Email. WhatsApp. Uh, that's email again. Uh, I don't need it twice, actually. I was testing out the app. Um, Microsoft Excel. Microsoft Word. PowerPoint. Zoom. Discord. FaceTime. So it's all quick links to what I do. And I'm going to show you some other things it can do to give you some ideas of just making your um, productivity a bit better. Now, the Stream Deck XL is about 200 quid. So, yes, while it is a bit expensive, um, but if it can save you time, then it's worth looking into, isn't it? So I'm just going to bring up the Stream Deck in the top corner. Uh, by doing that and then I'm going to show my screen and I'm going to show you exactly uh, what it can do so I'm going to try and leave that in the top corner so you'll see as I'm editing things change a little bit I know it's not a great video um, but so so all I do basically is with the stream deck I go to here configure stream deck and you can have basically whatever layout you want. So that is the current layout of these buttons. If I maybe move it a little bit over. So what you're seeing is I can program all sorts of kind of things that I want. So uh, this button here just toggles between screens. So it, it lets me toggle another profile. So if there's not enough with 32 buttons, if I'm working on a certain project, I can go to just that program settings. But you'll see if I press this button so if i press zoho one it opens up the web browser and opens up that website that is zoho one so i do a lot of videos on zoho one and it gets me to my home page on zoho one if i do the same when pressing the zoho crm button it brings up zoho crm if i have uh, clicked off let me go back i'll show you again here look so so if i have clicked off of chrome and i need to jump into chrome i will click this button so i you see this button, I click, it brings me back to Chrome. If I want to go to, I need to search my contacts, this button here, look. I'll pick contacts, type in my contacts, filter down. My contacts is a joke. Uh, mail brings me to my email. WhatsApp brings me to my WhatsApp. Uh, back to my email if I want to flick between. So if I show you now more um, a specific uh, cases, obviously you can see here that this is this is going to open Excel. So maybe if I open Excel, that will come to this document. If I close that document, uh, I'll save it. And below you'll see test Excel. So if you're working on an Excel document, you need to keep opening. I fire up that button and it opens up that file. It doesn't go to Excel, it opens that file up. Now I might be working off a report, so I might need to see the report here. This is just a, fit, a PDF. I click the PDF and here's the PDF. So I'm, I might be writing off this report to put into this Excel, to go back to the report, to go to Excel, to open Word up and open a, a blank document on Word that I might have to file something under. And we can jump now between the document, Excel, all at a touch of a button, right? PowerPoint, I need a PowerPoint, stick a new PowerPoint on. And now I can jump between Excel, or I've got to ask so-and-so a question, jump to WhatsApp or to your um, uh, your spreadsheet or whatever whatever introduction video you have. There's all sorts of different things it can do. Down the bottom here, I can fire up my, I can fire up my, um, 
play um, what am I saying Spotify play the next song same again keep going through pause it somebody's on the phone pause it put the music back on don't like that Tell song me what to do. pause it and we are you know we're, we're using Excel we're using Spotify through our stream deck down the bottom here you'll see this one is is showing me the the uh, processor CPU usage on my computer. So if I fire up a program that uh, all of a sudden that goes to 100 odd, I can click the button above it, open my activity monitor, and you can actually see that uh, it's using, I'm not sure, the, the actual stat there, is it? I can find out the, um, the usage and where all my uh, CPU usage is going. I'm not sure how it correlates. It might not work properly on a Mac. Uh, Lex to it. I might have, there's a little app here for uh, showing world time. So if I look at it, I can see it's 5.51 in Los Angeles and it's 8.51 in New York. So I can set up little time. What time is it? I need to phone so-and-so. So I can go, all right, it's nearly nine o'clock in the morning. Let me phone, um, let me press the contact button and get so-and-so's email, phone number. Drop them an email, right? Or whatever it might be. So I, I really like it. I like it as an idea. Uh, the bottom one, another one, it might not work this. Yeah, I've not got toggle. So toggle, there's all sorts of little different, um, there's all sorts of little different, I'm not sure what is happening with toggle. I'm trying to log in. I'm already logged in. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to go somewhere else. Um, da -da -da -da. No, 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 not there, not there. But you basically, if you press that button, it, it, do, it does work. I'm just... I can't seem to log in uh, to toggle. It's probably, a, uh, you know, I'll log out. See how it says log out, but, but where's, oh, go to timer. Here we go, here we go. So if I go back now, if you see my foot finger is on the bottom left, which is this button. It's the actual toggle, um, toggle time. So basically on toggle, you got a clock at your time. It actually started working, look. So if I stop it, in fact, I've just started it. It then logs my time in Toggle. So there's little different things, little plugins that can do stuff like that. That wasn't a great example. Um, there's, there's a, for instance, there's, um, see this? This is a, a short code. Say for some reason you've got something where you've got to press enter. So maybe it's, um, you've, got, you've got to do a, you, you want to do something on, Excel, where you do one, enter, one, enter, one, enter, one, enter. You might not. I mean, it's a bad example, but you might also want to put some text on a, every file. So see, this says, yes, go for it. We've got a yes button. So if you're forever saying yes to people, you might want to go to, um, you might want to press the WhatsApp button and then type in yes, go for it. Uh, I'm not going to because that's my dad's beer group. And they'll be wondering what the hell I'm on about. Or it might be that Excel file again. We might want to press this. Yes, go for it. Enter. Yes, go for it. Enter. So you can see there's lots of different shortcuts, hotkeys, things that you you're now must be thinking, oh, I do this all the time. I have to I have to do that report where I have to press P, enter, P, enter, P, enter. It would be easier to do that on a button than it would um, across something, wouldn't it? So I just, I couldn't like, I was, I was playing around with my stream deck and I thought, why don't I use this more? Why don't I, when I'm, you know, that button will open this program that I'm looking at now. Um, this pro, this button will open my, um, recordings program. Uh, this button will open team viewer. This one opens Siri. Hello Siri. What time is it? It's 13.54. Thank you. Right, Siri, uh, what else have I showed you? Voice memos, if you do that. I think you get the drift that it's, um, it could be a useful tool to you. It could be um, worth, worth looking into, a stream deck. You can get them from Elgato Direct and you can get them from um, eBay. I got mine on, uh, not eBay, Amazon. I got mine on eBay, actually. 
Um, but you're just fine. At, you know, look, it, it's a nice little bit of kit that you can add to your to your office. You know, playing around, opening stuff, calling your WhatsApp friends, uh, opening your email, checking stuff. One touch. It has to be faster than, uh, you know, typing stuff in. You must be thinking now there's things I can do on this that will speed me up. It's all about speeding you up at work, isn't it? And if that's sat on your desk... Uh, there's integrations and plugins and all sorts that you can use with it. It's worth possibly looking into. There is an app you can get for your iPad that may do the same thing. I'm not sure how it works with your computer. But yeah, there is an iPad app that is a Stream Deck. But you can get a nine-button one, so it's just smaller. And you can get a, a larger one. You can create folders that will add uh, different profiles. You can jump in. You can change stuff. You can... Set it however you want. Jump about. Bit of fun in the office as well as... I mean, I don't know if it's a bit of fun, but... Um, yeah. I think it's a good idea, and I hope it's given you some ideas. I'll put some links in the description. If you go to pnuk.com forward slash Elgato, uh, I will put some links to uh, where you can get the Stream Deck, uh, more information. If you've got questions on how you can get something to work, if you've got some sort of macro you need to run in your office to make it's me hand shaking that um, to make this work for you, ask in the comments. Um, I just think it's a good idea, and it's just another way to make you a little bit more productive at work rather than oh forever right. I've got to open up screen and I've got to open up thingy, in, and I can just jump between Word and I can jump between Word and Excel. Remember that report I can jump on and and, and get back to my Excel file. It's interesting. I think it'll be a good idea and it might be worth looking into. Thanks for watching. See you all again soon. Bye for now.